Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Wednesday afternoon, and this is the first video blog of the day. Uh, in the morning, we had to uh, record IMC Academy TV show live, so that's where I was. Um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You would think I would do this before I start, but I just fucking go with my instincts a lot of times. Here we are. Okay, good. Let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about this. You see... There's this, there's this side to social animals, social creatures, human beings being one of them. And you and I have human bodies. We're interacting as humans. Um, we want approval. We want to be accepted. We want to belong. In fact, we don't really feel uh, as good as we can unless we belong, unless we feel like people approve of us. Now, growing up, if you think back to your childhood... It's just one of the ways that the current society interacts. I don't know if the past societies did that. I, I'm, I would assume they did. Um, but the way they interact is they make outcasts out of people. They, they put people outside. You're an outcast. You're not, you don't belong. They, they group together. And our desire, our desire to belong will make us many times compromise who we are what we truly believe in, what our own desires are, who we think we are, who we should be, all of that gets compromised just so that we can belong to a group. Just so that we could belong to um, a relationship, a certain relationship. So that we can be accepted. So that we can be approved of. It's our desire to be approved of. that makes us lower our standards, lower our desires, makes us compromise who we are so that others approve of us. One of the things that I teach my staff members and students is you have to raise your standards all the time, right? But when we want to belong, when we want to be approved of, when we want to be accepted... And it's a choice many times of being true to ourselves or compromising a little bit, not too much, a little bit, so that others accept us most of the time. In fact, growing up, I can say 100% of the time for people, they will compromise who they are to belong. Now, here is the problem. The problem is now you belong to a group. You are in a relationship. You are in friendships. You are at jobs, at, at, at educational uh, environments. You know, that word education has to be put in quotes. You are in uh, schooling systems that compromise who you are because you wanted approval. And now, here we go, you're becoming stronger. And now you're evolving. And now you're starting to have some true confidence. Now you're walking around like a giant. If you're watching me, you know you are headed in that direction. Some of you are already there. All you have to do is just look at my Facebook and see a few of the ones that I put up. This is a worldwide thing that's happening. And that's how my communication affects people. I'm turning you into a giant that you are. Well, on the path to getting there... Here's another obstacle on the path that you need to be aware of. Now listen, I'm only taking you through the process I've gone through. That's why I can teach. Because I've walked it. The obstacle you're going to hit is as you begin to evolve as a human being, as your mind changes, as you begin to see yourself differently, that means your self-image begins to change. As you start to look out in the environment and you see things differently than what they were, you now have a different view, right? Remember the old, old uh, video blog? Uh, the way you look at things change. Uh, if you, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's an old saying. It's very dear to my heart. As all of these incredible transformations are happening for you, as you're beginning to feel your true essence and your true power, guess what? Now you're in conflict with those relationships, those groups, those educational environments or schooling environments is the correct wording, those indoctrinating environments that you had 
placed yourself in originally when you were weak. Originally when you didn't believe in yourself. Originally when you thought you were not worth it, you compromised yourself so that you could belong there. But now you're changing. Now you're feeling better about yourself. Now you're stronger. Now you have goals. Now you're not a pushover. Now you can stand up for what you believe in. Well, guess what? If those environments accepted you and those relationships and those people accepted you originally because you were weak, then they're going to have a, quite a problem with you. And I promise you this from the bottom of my heart. It's already happening to you. That as you begin to grow, as you begin to evolve, as you begin to get your true power back and remember who you are, there's going to be people that are close to you that are going to have a problem with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course, I've gone through it myself. <laughs> you wouldn't even believe it. So think about it for a second. It's not going to be an easy, smooth transition. Why? Because the relationships you were in already when you started to discover some truth and power, some real wisdom. When you start to have information about how the world really works and how your mind works and how communication works, how you work, when you start to come into this information and start using it, you start evolving. You change. You become stronger. You become more proud. You start speaking up. Those environments and relationships are going to have a problem with you. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a frame of mind to look this through. If they didn't have a problem with you, if they didn't have a problem with you, then you wouldn't be changing, would you? If you think you're going through your fucking uh, evolution and the same old pieces of shit that you were surrounded with, the same garbage of society, the same cesspool that you put yourself in, the same slave-minded fucks that wanted to fucking dra drag you and put chains on your fucking mind and soul, if they don't have a problem with you, you are not fucking changing. Now, that doesn't mean you go out there and you, you create this hostility against you. No, you... Listen, take a look. Take a look at my videos. There's no doubt that I'm here to help people. There's absolutely no doubt. That is my intention. My intention is to help. My intention is to improve the conditions that I found the planet in when I arrived. I, that's what I want to do before I die. I want to make it a better place for the next generation. This is a theme of what I do of the people that know me. Now, prior to these videos that I put on, these, these uh, personal videos, you know, you've seen me all over YouTube, you've seen me on TV, you've seen me everywhere. The misconception sometimes was that I was just this out of control motherfucker that didn't give a fuck. Not true. Not true. I give a fuck more than you could ever imagine. I just don't give a fuck about the critic. I just don't give a fuck about the hater. That's the difference. This is why I brought you into my personal life through these videos so you can see who the fuck I am. The point that I'm making is if you're going out there trying to create hostility just to know you change, you miss the point. The point is that you should do is get out there and help and make something happen and shine your light and demonstrate who you are and demonstrate your confidence and demonstrate your, your pride and your power and take someone under your wing and bring them up and make the world a better place. And then if people have a problem with you, then you know you're doing it right. But not if you're going out there just being a piece of shit because some people are pieces of shit. Just, I mean, let me just tell you right now, right prior to this video blog, I got a call from one of my girls and she said to me, hey, check out this comment this dude wrote on this one picture. It's not even, it's not even her picture. It's not even my picture, but it's a mutual friend's picture. So I checked it right when I got into the office and it was a very rude comment. So my first reaction was to, of course, delete the comment because I was tagged in that picture. My second reaction was to delete and block him. You're probably watching this. But then I looked at his Facebook and I looked through it. And I was like, okay. I don't know if that's a bad person. I'm going to give him a fucking chance. So I messaged him. And I said, what's up with that comment you wrote, man? I haven't got an answer yet. 
So you're not supposed to just go out there and just create all this stupid hostility. You're supposed to fucking put out your truth and help mankind. I'm making you strong so that you could speak your truth, but not to be a piece of shit. Don't you fucking get it wrong. Don't you fucking get it wrong. This is why these videos are here for. So you get a true understanding of my teachings. I wouldn't be who the fuck I am if I wasn't helping people. So as you get stronger, the people around you who you originally started with, who were appreciating you when you were weak, are going to have an issue. So now, what's the solution? What's the fucking solution? That's the problem. What's the fucking... The solution is this. They have to come along for the ride and evolve with you. If you're in a relationship with a husband or a wife, a boyfriend or girlfriend, you're evolving and they're not, that relationship will break. I promise you, 100%. I'll put everything I have on it. That relationship will break. You can't. You cannot. It's like you're both fish and one of you gets on the land and starts flying and the other one's still in the water. Sorry, not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. Or you're both on land and one of you grows wings and now can fly to other spaces and the other one's still on the ground bitching at it. Why are you flying? Why are you flying? I thought we were together. Fuck you. Grow some fucking wings. How's that? How about you stop trying to drag me down and you lift yourself up the way I did? Do you understand? But I'm telling you this so that you understand that it's part of the process because some of you guys panic. Especially the girls. The girls. I mean, come on. You girls panic. Uh, I'm losing my BFF. She's not your BFF. She's not your BFF. And if she is your BFF, be ready for her to be your worst enemy. If you are a female and you're watching this right now and you're over 18 years old, at some point in your life, your best friend who was a female is now your worst enemy. Take a look, motherfucker. Take a look. How the fuck do I know this? Because I studied mankind my entire fucking life. And this is the truth. Your best friend will be your worst enemy as a female. You cannot, you don't have loyalty to each other. It's not in your genes. It's not in your DNA. And you better be truly enlightened to override that fucking program of the body. So stop fucking up because your BFF gives a shit. If you truly want to have a friend, truly want to have a friend, find a purpose, align the purpose together, you and your friend. Okay? By the way, by the way, let me take a moment. I don't remember who it was, but thank you for sending me the message about bottled water, okay? And uh, I saw a documentary called Plastic Planet, I believe it's called. And I recommend it for people. And I'm in the process today, in the next 24 hours, of figuring out how I don't drink from plastic bottles anymore, okay? That's all I'm going to say about it. If you want to look it up, do your own research. But thank you. Appreciate it. Okay? Alrighty. So, this is what I want you to do. I want you to see these indicators of people resisting your communication as a sign of success. It is a sign of success. You're on your way. Just make sure that when you put out your truth and when you're doing what you're doing, your intention is to help. See, that's what makes it okay. That is what makes it okay or not okay is the intention behind it. Do you understand that? Two people could do the same action. One has the intention to help. One has the intention to harm. Okay, the one that helps is, is the one you go for. All right? So... Make it happen. Be strong. Okay? This is your life. You're taking control of it. I know it. And uh, you know it. And the people that are resisting you, they know it. Otherwise, they would have no reason to resist you. And they'll find different ways to mock you. But don't you fall for that bullshit. Don't you fall for that bullshit. No, 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 no. Okay, let me, let me give you this example. Today I was filming... Um, IMC Academy Live TV show. So it's a live TV show. And uh, one of the people who was going to be on the show brought a friend. I've never met her before. And, uh, I was talking to, to the, the girl on the show. And she said something about her son wanted to come to the show. So he was acting sick. I said, well, you should just let him come to the show. And she said, oh, well, you know, he's already the teacher. already Something about the teacher. I said, send an email back to the teacher. Say, fuck off. And the other lady who was there who doesn't really know who I am. She's like, ooh. And I was like, What? What? Oh, I said, listen, how many people do you know who've graduated college right now that you want to have a life like them? How many people do you know who have graduated college and you want to have a life like them? Name one person. She sat there and she thought and she thought. She goes, well, I don't know anybody, but I want to graduate college. I said, and see, and that's your problem.
You can't name one person that you know. I said, on the other hand, I can name more than a dozen people who have graduated college who are miserable in their career, who are miserable because they can't get a job. I said, I will introduce you to my friends who dropped out, followed their passion, and are living a life worth living. I let her know, man. I let her know. I had a little bit more conversation about it. But the point that I'm making is this roboticness. <gasps> I'm supposed to graduate college. Okay, really? Only if you're passionate about it. How do we even get on that shit? It was related to what I was saying. Anyway. All right. That's it for this video blog. It's Wednesday. Maybe there'll be another one. Maybe not. All right? Subscribe. Share. Spread the word. Peace.